Hello everyone and welcome to My Time at Sandrock, given to me by Kathia Games. So, a little backstory first. So, Kathia Games contacted me last year to help with a Kickstarter. Unfortunately, due to a new job and an ongoing eye injury, I was unable to help them. So, I am ecstatic that they actually didn't forget about me and asked me to help review their latest demo, which is available on Steam until the 22nd, I believe. So, let's get started. And yes, it is available till the 22nd, so make sure that you um, grab it. Before it's gone again. I love all the customization options at the moment. Really, so many options. Uh, and we're going to set it to my favorite color, which is blue. Oh, wow! That is wow! That is bright. Okay. And we have two options as well. I think it's just to give us some. Um... Ah, see, yeah, look at that. It kind of like gives it a bit more texture, I suppose. Also, fun fact, I'm actually using uh, my younger sibling's computer today because mine doesn't want to work with this game. So, just a heads up, make sure you check the requirements for the game, which, as always, are available on the Steam page, because you don't want to end up buying this beautiful game and not being able to play it. Because that would just be a uh, bummer. Anyway, um, I think that'll do. Nice, colourful, you're not going to miss her any time soon. Every Saturday night, people gather at the Blue Moon to relax and hear stories told by Owen. Also, do bear in mind that this is essentially a direct sequel to the first game, My Time at Porsche, as far as I've been told. Okay, maybe I went a little over the top with the makeup there, but oh well, never mind. <laughs> oh, look at the graphics. Look at that. I stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, then again, it's no fun if you don't. My turn is sand rock. Also, just like it says top right, this is a developing alpha version and does not represent the final version of this game. So if there are any bugs or anything that we come across, it'll be sorted out by the time the game's fully released. Oh, you got my name on the board. Very nice. Mia, builder from Toolsky. Hi there, you must be Keller and Mia, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet you. At least you're a lot more friendlier than the guy we had in the previous game. I'm here to take you to the commerce field. The retiring builder and the commi uh, commissioner are there. Is that commissioner? Yeah. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. Whoa, how fast do you run? Okay. Wow, you, you run fast. Oh, there we go. How, why can't I run as fast as you? That's not fair. Yan, yeah, commissioner of the local commerce guild. It's really funny because I have a friend called Yan. He's a really nice bloke. I haven't spoken to him in a while, but shout out to Yan. Hello there, Kara. I'm Yan, president of the Sandrock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. Okay, yeah, he acts a lot like my friend as well. I'll be overseeing you and me, Yan, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me as more of a buddy that's your supervisor. Okay. This here's Mason. He's retiring. Hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. What am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's. But now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our commerce guild. And for other people too, I guess. Well, I am now speechless. That was very soon. Mason, as the established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Mason, retiring builder. Uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I am on my way out of here. Him, my workshop is yours now, Keller. Mm. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is... You know, this isn't really inspiring me at all. 
and it's certainly those things but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart i believe that will suffice may you bring telesis to the land well, I'm not sure that means. now if you'll excuse me i'm off to the blue moon there are only so many more days i'll be able to get my yakmo look on ah you're an alcoholic he was always a bit awkward mind you anyway back to business before you start i need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's frowned upon anyway, but there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. See? For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it not only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. I think the old world was mentioned in the previous game, not sure. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you two try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild, but you know, no rush. See you there. What is with all the dot 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 and then the final word? Oh, bye. True, it is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking things up is fun. You have a strange sense of fun. Okay, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here. So I can make sure you don't get lost. My workshop, me and go, go to your own one. I'm worried that. <laughs> oh, what's this? Hang on. Ah, uh, but that uh, I. Oh, 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 okay. I can't. Oh. That was a junk pile. Mason's old workshop. Oh, it's making me think of my old one. Hmm, kind of slim picking. So at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandra is still well known across all the three cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing so well for itself. Everybody in the free cities knows that, but I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it would be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way, so let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Phew. Well, I'm off to make my big hammer. See you around. She's a very friendly builder. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, or if she's got something else she's up to, like a hidden agenda. Oh, I need to hold E down, okay. So I have the wood, I just need a stone. For some reason, that seems a lot to go a lot faster than uh, the previous game. What is that? Double appetite furnace. Oh, I used to use the furnace as non-stop. All right. Find the item you want to build easier by sorting your work ta table items by category. Okay. First of all, items are shown here. The number in red tells you how many this item you need to make for your current mission. Click here to make the item. Okay, straightforward. Oh, it already selected it for me. Click the button. Okay. The colour represents the quality of the item. The higher quality items have... I was reading that. That's the press. Okay. Let's come out of this. Okay, you can now use the pick hammer to break down and recycle the junk in your yard, as well as scraps scattered throughout the desert. Oh, I missed my old furnace already. Oh, bye train. Bye. Oh, okay. So the map is actually, if you guys can't see, but at uh, bottom right, it's actually like pulsating where you need to go. And in front of me, it's the exclamation mark we need to go to. Yeah, let's hide that for a moment. It's huge. Wanted Logan. Who's Logan? Dead or alive, if you see this man, do not engage. Report immediately to the civil courts. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of this vile perpetrator will be rewarded handsomely in the sum of 100,000 golds. Yeah, but I want to know what he did. That's the thing. It should say on the thing what he did. Yeah. 
Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's a machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct a recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much, you'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just said what to do, and I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Okay, that is surprisingly bright for a desert town. Maybe my head doesn't stand out that much after all. Okay, so I need to get... I need to get some wood, I think? Oh, no, I thought I could break that. Okay, so I need to make a recycler. And I think I need to make the grinding saw that looks like. Is that a doggo? Oh, those are ants. Ants with helmets on their heads. Something tells me do not go towards them. I think I am where's the book? Alright, so, um Okay, I have enough wood, but I need another stone trout and I need two grinding saws. Oop. Would help if I move these ones. So, yeah, it's just like the first one. So, you literally have the items in your toolbar and then you move them um, as needed. Okay, so that's one. So, let's go get some more materials. We've done the wood at least. I really don't trust those. What are those? The... What the? Where's my pickaxe? There it is. I mean, I could potentially attack with that, but the question is, do I want to? Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure I can... Oh. More complicated kind of scratch require you to upgrade your pickaxe to break that. Okay, so I can't break that. Okay. Is that thing in this thing? Oh, leveled up. Brilliant. I am now level two. My attacks increase and take my health points. Ah, is this gonna give me stone? I actually can't remember how much stone I need for the thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... What is that? Did that say that was ball something? Ball cactus. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of stuff. And hopefully it will be enough to make I'm missing. Please don't attack me, I am friendly. I have no weapon apart from a pickaxe. Uh, a pickaxe? A um pick hammer. That's the word. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that the numbers above your head is the uh level you are. Okay, these guys aren't attacking, so that's cool. We can coexist peacefully then. I kinda want the the honey on your head though. Okay, so we need to know another stone trowel and we need grinding swords. So Grinding saws. I need. Um, I can make one. Okay, so I need more dinos and I need more stone. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, let's just. Yeah, so I need four more dinos and one stone. Okay, cool. Excuse me, my little bumble ants. Wouldn't it be cool if I could make like an army of bumble ants? That'd be great. Okay, so that gave us a stone scrap, that's not what we need. That sounded very aggressive for some reason to me. Okay, we've got dinas, we've got enough stone, but we need more dinas. I'm half expecting these guys to suddenly turn around and start attacking Those look like giant yaks, they're not going to hurt me, are they? Who are you? Wild Alpha Yak. Oh, Mason was talking about yet more drink earlier. Now I know where he gets it from. Oh, level three already. Okay. 
I'm gonna guess, uh, I'm gonna assume that gets um, harder as time goes on. What was that, sand day? It's nice that the game never gave up on their strange um, food pieces. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I clicked sand grass by accident. Burgess, who are you? Oops, sorry. Burgess, devotee of the Church of Light. Ah, the Church of Light is from the previous game as well. Hello, new builder. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Burgess, chief safety inspector of the Sand Rock chapter of the Church of Light. I mostly patrol the oasis, and if the, that water level moves even a centimetre, boy, you'd better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. I'm going to assume you guys don't get much water then? Yee, look at me run! Is there no stamina bar or anything for that? Okay. Now, we are ready. So, if we... Um, why is that not... Oh, that was weird. Okay, so... Let me just put this in here. And this here. I wonder what happens if we used high quality materials. Let me get that. Sand absorption speed 1, Q capacity 10. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's, oh okay. Talk to you. So this is going to help us make stuff.